what's up you guys today we are going to be talking about a experience that I had with eBay and buying my diffuser on eBay from OEM direct this video is just mainly to give you my experience and my opinion on this specific diffuser uh, you know eBay is buy at your own risk type thing so do you so we're gonna be talking about cost and shipping and packaging and installation and all that good stuff so if that's something you're interested in then just keep on watching also a quick disclaimer if I seem high tired or like I haven't slept in five days it's because I just got LASIK done to my eyes yesterday so don't mind me so we're gonna start out with cost this product cost me $68.95 so that's pretty cheap like not gonna lie I see fiberglass diffusers out there for like 150 at least like and that's like I said fiberglass there are painted ones that you know the ones that are already painted and everything that even those like go up to like 200 250 300 whatever so but this one specifically was 68.95 and I was like yo add to that cart and buy that PayPal that shit so it was pretty cheap, not gonna lie. I was pretty excited about that. So next we're gonna be talking about shipping. Shipping was a breeze. It came to me in a week and a half and shipping was free. It, it was included in the $68.95. So literally you're paying $68.95 for shipping and you know, the product itself. So that's not bad guys. So I was like, yes. Next we're gonna be talking about packaging. Packaging, I feel like it's super important when you're online shopping, specifically because the packaging all amounts as to how you're gonna, the condition of, you know, receiving your product. So, packaging for this product, the product itself came in like this thin, flimsy cardboard box. I was like, oh no, <laughs> I was scared. I opened the box and there was no bubble wrap, there was nothing except the diffuser and a thin, thin plastic bag at the bottom of the diffuser so it wasn't even covering the diffuser or anything um so easily right there you know that kind of threw me off not good the fit you know it could mess up the fit man it could i'm paranoid about that stuff so it can mess up the fit man you know the quality you know whatever so yeah packaging could have been better so next we're going to be talking about installation installation was a big thumbs down for me <laughs> Installation was like the most frustrating thing ever with this product. Let me tell you why. Um, the product itself did not come with any screws or double sided tape or you know a little instruction manual or whatever. Like yeah who needs a manual? It's good to have one even if you don't use it. Like you have it there as backup in case you decide like shit like I really don't know how to do this. So yeah it literally just came the product itself um no installation whatsoever like no hardware or anything so um we didn't have to go out of our way to buy screws because we already had screws at the house um but our method of installation was not to screw it on it was to use double-sided tape and you know pray that it held on um so we did have to go out of our way to buy the double-sided tape um which we bought some good tape you know we didn't buy some cheap ass tape we bought some 15 dollar tape <laughs> For a small roll, it was like 15 bucks. So yeah, um, as we are fitting the diffuser, you know, to see how it's gonna look, to see how it's gonna fit, I already like know. I was like, something's not right, you know? It's not gonna fit here. It's not gonna, it's not molding right. It's not fitting right. It's not hugging the sides of the car right, whatever. So like the first thing I thought was like, damn, like it got messed up during the packaging, like during the shipping. It had to have gotten messed up like the fitment unless I accidentally bought something that wasn't for my car <laughs> and let me tell you I would have punched myself in the face if I accidentally did that like really. so yeah all in all I would suggest reading reviews I think that's the most important thing out of all this that I learned was to read the reviews because no matter how cheap something is and how good the stars are you never know who you're gonna relate to more somebody that it fit on their newer you know car or somebody who already has experience in like modding their car and whatever and you know their car's the same year as you you're gonna relate closer to them than you know this guy who has a stock soccer dad is 250 so all in all i would definitely recommend to read reviews guys you know there was a lot of people in a lot of forums that said that they use heat to install the diffuser i didn't personally try that 
I would say, you know, why not? Would I try it? Yeah, why not? At the moment, I was just ready to get it on there. So if you want to try applying heat to it, go right ahead. It's on, yeah, it's $68.95. So if you're going to try it with anything, you know, this is probably the cheapest option. So I'm going to leave that down below. And I also did a review slash opinion on the Easy Lip. I'll also leave that down, link down below in case you want to check that out. Um, hopefully I helped you out a little bit with some insight on this specific diffuser and, you know, buying on eBay. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! <laughs>